Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name is Jennifer Walker. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. And thank you guys so much for all of the readings. Um, you guys have really been keeping me very, very busy. I really appreciate it. And all the generous donations. I love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. Alrighty, let's see. What cards do you want to start with here? Let's go with these. Oh, I'll tell you, Aquarius. I was playing around with all kinds of decks today, and when I was doing Aries, when I just started, and uh, no decks would resonate with me today. And I had to go back to my old trusted um, Rider right Waite deck. There's uh, this is the deck I started out with, you know, years and years and years and years and years and years ago. And it's like, it's like my left arm. <laughs> so, anyway, when all else fails, go with what you know, right? Go with what you feel comfortable with. I worked with this deck for really years, so many years. Anyway, I love you guys. Let me get started. Let me stop talking. Make sure you check your rising sign your sun sign and your moon sign it's body mind and soul your rising sign represents your body your sun is your soul and your moon is your emotional body your mind so you're made up of all those yeah exactly you have a choice all right aquarius someone rising what is the current romantic situation for july 2018 what is the current situation for the romantic love life guardian angels ancestors show me the card i need to know show me the card i need to see Show me the card I need to know. Show me the card I need to know. Show me the card. Show me the card. Bring it to me. Thank you. All right, you've planted a seed of something. You're waiting for it to grow. That's your current situation, July. What's the crossing? Thank you. Either you have a lot of options, or you don't have a lot of options, or the crossing being the blockage of, uh, they're illusionary. To your romantic love life. All right, what's their strength? Aquarius, the strength of the romantic love life for July 2018. What's their strength in the romantic love life? What's the thing that's positive that's going to help them move it forward? Thank you. Hmm. Well, the moon, mysterious. You're mysterious to other people. Interesting. Aquarius, someone arising. Uh, maybe you're able to look through the mysteries of life and figure them out. Uh, Aquarius, someone rising. What is their past situation that has caused their current situation to happen? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Aquarius, someone rising. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you, ancestors, guardian angels. Thank you. Uh, you're resting. Well, that makes sense. You're patiently waiting there and then you're resting. Okay. Illusionary options. Then we got the moon. That's interesting. What is the outside influences for July 2018 that are affecting the romantic love life? Thank you. Could be travel. Could be you. Um, tell me what's going to happen for Aquarius, someone rising in their immediate future for their romantic love life. Thank you. There's going to be some kind of justice. Balancing. Something is going to be beyond your control. Okay, I got the tower. I'll, I'll put it out there, but I I don't want to go with it. I'm going to clarify this. That would make something that would be out of your control, some kind of shakeup that may happen. But let's keep moving. Uh, I will clarify this. Move this out of the way. What is Aquarius's advice? Someone rising for July 2018 for the romantic love life. Guardian angel, show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Communication, some kind of communication for somebody. Maybe communicating with an air sign. Uh, all right. What is something about the romantic love life that they don't know that they need to know for July 2018? Aquarius, someone rising. Guardian Angels Ancestor, show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me a card I need to see. Not 20 different cards. Okay. Hmm. 
So far, very mysterious, Aquarius. Okay, let me get a sip. Oh, tea. Okay. What is Aquarius? Someone arising. What is there? Hopes and fears. Oh, yeah, I would fear that one too. Sneaky behavior. Ugh. All right. What is going to be their outcome for July 2018 for the romantic love life? Show me what I need to see. Ooh, you're giving me a wish. Nice. What else? I want a couple cards here. I need to get a little bit more clarity than just a wish. Thank you, Ancestors Guardian Angels. Give me a couple more cards for Aquarius's outcome. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, you actually gave me a person. Great. Fire sign. There's a lot of fire going on today. That's a lot either a lot of fire signs or a lot of passion going on. Or a lot of people have fire in their charts. Uh, okay. So your wish is to be with a fire sign. It looks like you got your wish. And then your fear was sneaky behavior. Ah, well, the Knight of Wands. That can be someone who could come in and out of your life. Mm, I could kind of see why you would fear that kind of sneaky behavior. Uh, I'm going to clarify some stuff here. Okay. So, what exactly was the seed that they planted that they were waiting on? Tell me what that is about. Guardian angels, ancestors, guardians. Thank you. You were holding on to someone. Mm. Someone waiting patiently. What about this Seven of Cups here? What about this Seven of Cups? What is that about? Clarify that for me, please. Clarify that for me, please, with one card. Guardian angels, ancestors. Clarify that for me, please. Okay. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You were defending yourself. Some at work. That's why there's that there. You were defending yourself from someone at work. Or you had a lot of options at work and you were fighting off the offers. Hmm. But you're waiting for this one person. Why would that be a barrier to you? Or uh, a crossing? Unless the other person knew about it. Hmm. 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 Or maybe you were afraid that... Okay, because you got that card there. Maybe you were afraid that the other person that you were dealing with, that you were holding on to, was, had a lot of offers at work that they had to, to fight off. But they were illusionary offers. This was in your mind. So no worries. And do you see here, we got the moon, mind. Mm. Let's clarify the moon. What's, what about the moon? Thank you. Hold on. I want to see this fire sign, but then you're... Maybe, okay, so strength being, the moon is, if you want to base it on the cancer sign, the moon is cancer, right? And the moon is very nurturing, it's emotional, it's motherly, uh, it's very deep emotionally. And I see a lot of cups here, and I, I feel like you're able to express love, and you want to nurture someone. That's what I see here. So that's your strength and love. Right? You know, I don't want to think I want to interpret this now as mystery and da da da, but emotion. Okay. Just as I said, check your sun and moon and rising sign, moon being your emotions. So, uh, why is there four swords here for resting? Why are we resting? Aquarius, why? Why are we resting? 
come on, ancestry, show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Where did you go? Where was the card I need to see? Ah, yeah, you were resting because of this person, this fire sign. Could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius. All right, why the Seven of Swords here? Why the Seven of Swords? What's going on with you, the Seven of Swords? Communication, influence. Maybe someone young told you something. Okay, maybe that's what this justice is about. Because then I see here communication. Maybe you are holding off communication. Maybe you need to communicate with this fire sign. Maybe you were taking a break from them because you were afraid that they were doing something that they weren't supposed to at work. Your advances or your strength and love is you can express yourself and you're a nurturing person, Aquarius. So what's the justice card about? Thank you. Aw. Aw, you did some healing. And some balancing out. So because you held out and you were holding on, because of things that happened to you in the past where you felt like you weren't being loved or given things that your partner should have. You took a break and the universe then brought this person back into your life again. Or they feel like you should bring this person back to your life again. I'm not sure which one. I'm going to clarify. But this is in the past though. So this is just why the justice card is here. Why you've hold on, held on to this person. You felt like there were some things going on there. You took a break from this fire sign. But your wish was to get back with them. And it seems like that's what happened in the end. Hmm. Okay. What about this Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords about? So you definitely were justified. You felt justified. In the immediate future, you found out you were justified. In taking a break. Maybe that person learned from that. That they should be more balanced. And they're giving to you. Because of the break that you gave that person, they healed. And became a different person. Let's see. What's this Queen of Swords about? Why do you put the Queen of Swords here? For advice. Oh, we have the Hermit. And we have... Man, there's a lot of that going on today, too. It's like a choice to communicate or a choice to be by yourself. Hmm. Or maybe you have to think, think about it completely before you go into the situation, before you communicate, kind of reflect on it. Hmm. What about this Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords about? What's the Seven of Swords about? Thank you looking at the bigger picture. So you feel like your hands are tied, or this person feels like their hands, I see. The person that you're dealing with feels like their hands are tied behind their back. They're trying to understand what the bigger picture is. They're waiting for the ships to come in with you. So you have to communicate with them. You have to decide, think about it, whether or not you want to communicate. But in the outcome, it looks like the wish was granted and there was they were moving forward with this Knight of Wands. And I'm not saying that this represents a player type, but I'm saying that there's movement here. Something moves ahead. But let's clarify that. Clarify the outcome for Aquarius. By the way, this also can be your card, Aquarius, the star. 
you guys moving together. But I definitely see that fire sign in the end. So clarify the outcome, the Knight of Wands, and the Star card, please. Thank you, Guardian Angels and Sisters. Please show me the card I need to see for Aquarius. It's the outcome. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. You are in charge. Let me just turn this the way. Sorry, guys. So you're in charge. Let's rearrange this. Yeah, that's that's fine. You have to take a leap of faith to communicate with your fire sign to get this outcome. If that makes sense to you, Chris. I kind of want to look at this one a little bit more. This justice one. I'm pretty sure I see everything else, but I just want to see that justice one. What's this, what's the immediate outcome here? Why is there a justice card here again? Guardian Angels answer. Show me a card I need to see. Uh, it has something to do with the fire sign and the options again. And this. And then you got this card again. Okay. So what does this mean? Justice is some kind of final outcome, some kind of justification, something happened. There was something that happened that was out of your control. Uh, this is a wish fulfillment card, and this is illusionary options, and this is the Knight of Wands. So this card is surrounding this person of wish fulfillment with this person. So maybe this person got their wish with you, and you communicate with them. Stop resting and you went forward with them. Had a reconciliation. Ah, let's see the sneaky behavior. Sorry, I know we're going 17 minutes, but I just want to see all the angles here. Why do you feel like your sneaky behavior? What's up, Seven of Swords? Um, something to do with emotion. Okay, what else? Playing with your emotions. Do you feel like the fire sign is playing with your emotions? Or do you feel like they're messing around with someone that's a water sign? at their job. Oh. I'm just getting this again, making a choice. And, uh, uh, I dropped a card down here and then I got this again. <laughs> so there's a lot of this going on actually this month where uh, people have to make choices about things. Um, it looks to me like you can make the choice to either be by yourself or make the choice to be with this fire sign. It's up to you. Because uh, this person feels like their hands are tied behind their back. Aquarius. Well, let's get some clarification with the Romance Angels. Guardian Angels and Sisters, give me 100% accuracy for Aquarius, Someone Rising, for the Romantic Love Life for July 2018. Thank you so much for your help and guidance. Welcome to Aquarius. Tell me what I need to tell them. Give me their guidance. Thank you. Of course, you fall on the floor. Yep, just like I thought. Heart to heart communications. So it's going to be up to you to do it. What else? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Someone who has it. For their fire sign. You know, guys, just use your intuition on this. The moon there says you guys have a strong intuition. Uh, let's see what we got here. I don't know why this came up, but religious factors. And let's try another one here. Alright. Could that be why? Could there be something religious involved with this? 
Sure. Oh, getting to know each other. Wow. Okay, so what do we got here? Hard to heart conversations, which I see. I'm not exactly sure where this religious factors is. So I'm going to clarify that just so I can get an understanding of what the heck that's about. Getting to know each other, well, you know, you're going to start over again. So I could see that. Starting fresh. What's religious factors? What do you mean by that? Clarify religious factors for Aquarius. I'm not aware of that. Children? Was that the maybe the other reason why? Children, maybe. Oh, let me get one more card. Sorry, we know I'm going to 20 some minutes here. I don't like it when they come out and you're just like, this totally throws me off here. What's that about? Come on, one card. Pretty much ancestors. Clarify this for me. Accuracy. Thank you. Yeah, something to do with children. Left out in the cold. Is that why you guys broke up? I guess I see the family card here. Maybe you wanted to start a family and they didn't. Maybe they were concentrating on work too much. Well, there was a reason why you guys broke up. Yeah, okay, so maybe you wanted a family. That may explain the page of swords here. It's a child. Maybe you wanted to start a family, but because of religious factors, maybe you guys decided to take a break, but there's a second chance here to renew the situation, whatever happened. I mean, there could have been, let's see, there's other options. And there was some healing going on here. Somebody felt like they weren't given what they were supposed to. Okay, so it really doesn't matter what the reason was. Uh, this is a second chance. You, It's up to you to communicate with this person if you want to do this again. They feel like their hands are tied on this, so you can make the choice and the action to move forward on this and show some kind of affection. I don't understand why you feel that there was sneaky behavior, though. I'm not sure about that or why you're weirded out by that. Uh, or maybe you just feel like the other person has options. Maybe you, you, you want to have children with them, but maybe you feel like maybe their sexuality or their understanding of commitment is different than yours. And it goes against your religion because you, your religion is a lot more... Um, I'm just grasping at straws here from my intuition. Maybe you're more conservative in your values for your religious values and this person's a little bit more loose in their commitments and you want to have children, you want to start a family with them, but you are worried about having to defend yourself uh, against all these options this other person has. And you have a choice and you feel like maybe they've done some sneaky behavior in the past. But you have a choice to start over with them, a new situation with them, communicate what you want. Okay, guys, I hope you like this reading. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. If it resonated with you, um, please like and subscribe. If it didn't, you can always get a private reading with me. My information's below. Thank you guys so much. I love you.